today's video off with a slight update life update um for you guys because all of you guys know that i took like a little small break um i was posting consistently and then boom i took a break from vlogging and i'm about to tell you guys why so over these past few weeks like this last month i've been having really bad like jaw pain like right here in my lower jaw up to my ear and it really makes it hard for me to talk or do anything on top of that i have been working as well and i feel like my hours went from kind of like part-time to me almost working like a full-time hour shift work week but of course because we're on our grind trying to hurry up and find a place which we do have some house hunting vlogs coming for you guys really really soon as well but um yeah so i feel like i have just been busy and consumed in my physical life that my social life just kind of i kind of just like veered away from it and like i said my mouth was hurting really bad so i did set up um an emergency dentist appointment i did like a walk-in because it was like so bad y'all like i and i felt like it was swollen back here like it was just hurting all the way up to my ear and to my head like it was just like the worst pain went to the dentist and um basically i was due for my wisdom teeth to be taken out a long time ago but that's what's causing the pain my wisdom teeth um are coming in i guess or trying to come in but it's pushing those other teeth and basically i have to have my wisdom teeth removed so i have that surgery coming up on august the 9th um i told Juan, i'm putting i'm holding him accountable to film the entire process of this getting all four of my wisdom teeth pulled um i am nervous a little bit but i know i'm not gonna feel anything i just want to make sure i stay on top of my medicine and everything as far as like the kids and stuff because i'm not going to help that much it's taken care of y'all know how i am but we're gonna figure it out but yes yeah, so i had that surgery coming up on august the 9th i am i've been battling with whether i want to put my two-week notice in at my job and find something closer because we moved uh way away from where we used to live and of course i applied somewhere right by my job where we lived it's like where we used to live was like five minutes away from my job but now that we have moved onto the complete opposite side of town it is a drive to get there you guys like it's a drive and i am evening shift so that drive driving home in the dark is just it's just like it's not really worth it and as i told you guys i was doing it for my mental health anyway but of course i want to find something closer and still be able to go and go out and do that you guys probably hear trunks and all that stuff i'm sitting out here on the patio but we're just having us a little patio chat y'all but um yes yeah, so i definitely want to find something closer because oh gosh gas prices it's just i need to be closer so that's neither here nor there but i probably am going to do that like really really soon it's been weighing really heavy on me since i haven't been there because the kids got sick okay all of the kids came down with some type of fever each day it was noble first and then it went to charlie and then it went to keegan it was just everybody was pitiful and then we had like this whole fever thing and it skipped kamari by the grace of god i'm so grateful he did not catch it but it literally went through the kids in this house including my niece so i was out of work for that then they told me i couldn't come back from a covid test i still have not went back since the COVID. this happened last week actually so i have not been back since the covid testing results stuff um but like i said it lasted for 24 hours and i've been here and consumed with them and their sickness and it kind of just making it really easier for me to say i'm done working there but i know i want to find something closer and i have been applying for at home jobs um but yeah so i'm gonna keep you guys updated on the job search and what i choose to do but my manager has been very understanding through this process which is why i'm so grateful that he even gave me a chance and it's like i know that i would have been there longer if i never moved or if i stayed out there but because we've moved and we're in a totally different like i said it's like almost 40 minute drive away it's like nah it's not really worth it um at all so that's that also update on the kids schooling um had to check on the kids um we are 
trying to I had to do an address switch of course because we moved and um, not only did I have to do the address change I had to call around to schools in the district and see um, what school I wanted to send them to and so I talked to a school that I kind of got my fingers crossed on we were gonna send them to a uniform school it's considered a charter school um, and we're going to sit in there, but they don't have a pre-K program because I want Keegan to be in the pre-K program. So I was looking for a school that offered a pre-K through 8th or 5th grade. K through pre-K through 8th. I mean 5th. Is that how it goes? Middle school is 8th. So yeah, pre-K through 5th um, grade school so that they can all go. And I found one and I'm going to go handle all that stuff next week and get them all enrolled and then you guys are going to be getting a ton of back to school shopping vlogs back to school clothing hauls just all the things back to school because i have three babies going to school this year um and yeah so i'm super excited about that so definitely Quan is supposed to be starting school in the fall again he's going back to school um he is doing another major to have something else underneath his belt i'm gonna let him share that with you guys if he chooses to but we're really excited about that so i have three little ones and Quan will be in school um so i'm gonna have a lot of vlogs and stuff coming for y'all like also more exciting news on top of that i created a facebook page so that we connect can connect over on facebook it is minx family vlogs all you have to do is search minx family vlogs or if you want to add my personal facebook you are open to do that as well um i would love to chat with you guys over there on facebook and would love if you guys would follow our facebook page like i said it's minx family vlogs for the facebook group and my personal page name is minx fam so you guys can add me i think i added a few of you guys the other day but i'm super excited to be over in facebook land with y'all now um i've been trying to keep you guys updated on just video posts and stuff like that and i plan to get more active over there on facebook with you guys but i'm super excited about doing that um what else i wanted to tell you guys i just have to lay it on you because i was supposed to do this in the other vlog but their nana came home and it just got crazy and we had to get them out of here y'all seen but also you guys i worked really hard on that intro but i have to give credit to my girl brandy okay i stole the idea from her um i seen how cute her little i was watching one of her vlogs and i see her intro and i'm like this is so cute because i've been trying to figure out a way how i can incorporate all of the kids and me and Quan in the intro without doing too much just getting right to the point i'm sick of the long intros like i feel like i've grown out of that maybe during vlogmas it's cool but i seen hers it was just like quick right to the point little her little family heads i'll put her um uh youtube channel her family channel over there she just had a sweet baby girl um but i absolutely love her and i definitely saw her idea girl so shout out to you and i know she does not mind but it was just the cutest and i just wanted to make it my own but you guys loved it so i want you to go over there and show her some love and tell her mink sent you guys because like i said she has a beautiful family and she just had a sweet baby girl and she's just amazing so shout out to her but i'm so glad you guys like the intro and i love it just as much as you guys do so today's vlog i have been talking for almost nine minutes y'all but i feel like i need to give you guys this update on everything um, that's been going on so surgery coming up we got a new facebook page we're getting the kids enrolled in school so we're about to have a lot of back to school vlogs coming for you guys um i'm super excited about fall my birthday this these house hunting videos that are about to be coming like everything it's about to be a lot going on over here on Mink's family vlogs so like I said, I always tell you guys, I really appreciate all the love and support. I think I'm going to do a separate vlog and just make this like a little mini update video since I was talking so much. Um, and yeah, so I don't know what we're going to do today. I know that I have to go to the grocery store and get, Quan said he wanted fish tonight, so I think I'm going to fry fish and do that. And then I was thinking about taking the kids to the little water park. Um, we have not been to the pool yet this summer and they have been asking. And really, it's because the mom bot isn't giving and it's like i can't do that like i need to get out of that mindset i've been having some postpartum body 
sadness okay i think we all go through that once we get out of there we kind of are very hard on ourselves once we have babies because our body don't snap back like we want to but that's another thing i'm about to work out more we just got a lot of fun stuff coming and like i said i have been i went through this small dark moment in my life um once the move that we made from from the apartment to the next location that we had moved i had my my hopes were so high for my family in that moment and then things just went left and it just got like really bad um to the point where we had to move here and it was like i went through this sad moment and this moment where i was just like why is this happening like i felt like a failure as a mom like just with what had transpired even though it was really out of my control um it was just it's it's just a lot to it that i'm leaving i'm choosing to leave off of youtube but i was very hurt and in a dark place but now i'm i've come to this sense of i have to live my life now okay yeah this is a hard situation to be in yeah i would prefer to be in the house with my kids but now is all i got like this is our time while we're here i can't spend it sitting in here and being sad about the situation all i can do is change my mindset and go get it y'all like, i have to i had to tell myself like you just gotta go get everything that you want and that's exactly what i'm gonna do for me and my kids and for my family and me and kwan just sit out here and we talk about our goals and our plans and what's next and i'm just so happy to just be here to be able to talk about that i'm happy for my health it's so much beyond this <laughs> you know what i'm saying so i'm just grateful for what things are now and i just want to bring you guys our happy vlogs i want to continue to post lots and lots of content and family vlogs for y'all and just be here and connect with you guys and chat with you guys and just make youtube and social media my living that is my dream you guys so i'm trying to work towards that dream and keep my kids happy and live a very happy and healthy life in the process okay okay you want something to drink okay let me end this video and then i'll give you something so anyways you guys my kids are thirsty keegan is right here you ready for preschool buddy He's super excited about going to preschool. We love you guys so much. I just want to give you guys a very brief update. Um, also, I'm going to show you guys our tiger painting. It should have been done a long time ago, you guys. But like I said, I was going through a lot of things. A lot of going on. So your girl still ain't finished it. But I plan on finishing it really, really soon. But before we end this video, I'm going to show it to you guys. And then we're going to catch you guys in another video. We love you guys. And we'll see you soon. Let me show you guys our tiger. So this is how far I've gotten with our tiger. I don't know what it looked like the last time you guys seen it. Oh my gosh, this little toy right here singing. But um, I don't know what it looked like the last time I showed it to y'all. But here is the progress that I've made. We have an eye, a nose, and a mouth. I'm sure I wasn't this far along. But it is coming together very beautifully. And this picture really, this painting really means a lot to me, y'all. Like y'all don't even understand. But I can't wait to finish it and show you guys the finished product. Hopefully, I'll be doing that really, really soon. But we'll see. I love you guys. And as always, thank y'all so much for all of the love and support. And we'll see you guys in another video really, really soon. Bye, y'all.